Welcome to Snowden Media Access Cable and Community Forum. My name is Steve Kelly, I'm your host, and today I'm excited to bring you two wonderful guests. I have Bob Mullen from the Lions Club. Welcome, Bob. Thank you, Steve. Pleasure to be here. All right, and I've got Roy Cohen here. And Roy is a producer usually for Community Forum, but today uh, he's representing himself and his fellow band members for the concert in the park series that the Lions Club is putting forward. So Bob, you're a member of the Lions, right? Yes, I am. Okay. So um, what is the Lions doing with the concerts in the park? Uh, every year the Lions, for like the past, this is our 16th year, we're very happy to bring this to the Stoughton community again. And if, for the past 16 years, we have been uh, supporting and sponsoring the Lions Club concerts in the park, right at Faxon Park, right yeah. off of Park Street, that's right across the street from the Stoughton Library. Right. And uh, we just ask certain bands to perform and they provide for free concerts to the uh, members of the Stoughton community. All right, so there's a, a cupola or, or a, uh, a stage area? Uh, a gazebo it? right there. A gazebo, yeah, right the there. You can't miss yeah. it when you yeah. drive by on Park Street. The Stoughton, we want to shout out to the Stoughton Department of Public Works. They do a great job maintaining that. Yeah. And um, the concerts are on Sundays from 5 to 7 p.m. And uh, we have, this year we have six bands. Wow. Uh, some are coming back from uh, previous years and um, a couple of new ones. And uh, we're really happy to be able to do this to the, uh, for the members of the community. Good. So I'm going to ask Mike, our, produ our temporary producer today. Um, Mike, if you can cue up one of the bands, I'd, I'd love to hear them come in. I think the Corvairs might be on tap. And, and here we go right now so we can listen. Shaker a 
So we're back here in studio, and um, I wanted to ask uh, Roy, by the way, I feel like having a virgin margarita just after hearing that song. <laughs> and you flip-flops, so you have those on. <laughs> so, um, Roy, you, pl you play in a couple of bands, and I think the next clip is Political Asylum. Yeah, it's a group that was formed about uh, 25 years ago, 25, 30 years ago, and um, our, our main goal was to just pr uh, play for charity, help uh -huh. them raise money. We've never charged perform uh, for a performance and all that Ever? time. Never. No, our main wow. goal is just to uh, raise money for charity. And there's uh, seven of us in the group. Yeah. Uh, everybody's pretty much uh, the original group. It's myself, it's Marjorie Claproot, who uh, uh, everybody knows from radio and from uh, uh, politics and all that stuff. And Steve Fratkin, Steve Hillman, Steve Tapper, we should call it the band full of Steves. Yeah. And uh, Max Whiting. Um, uh, all, all of the original people are still in it. It's music from the 50s and 60s, and all we do is have fun. That is so wonderful. And I want to just take a minute to thank Dave Young out in the back, Jeff Pickett, right. and Mike Hammond. All three have been uh, scrambling to get these clips together to share with the audience. Oh, so um, I'd like to jump right in and, and maybe hear from Political Asylum. I if I know. could just add one thing, Steve. Not sure. To, I mean, Roy's band is a great following. A lot of people just come down to that park. Yeah, it's yeah. just a tremendous amount of people that come out from the town. Nice. Yeah. So you actually have people that follow. There's yep. a few there's that a big uh, following. probably yeah. need their hearing aids adjusted <laughs> or something. But yeah, no, there's a few. And they they, they uh, can appreciate the fun that we have when we do our stuff. Good. And it's for a good cause. The Lions Club does some very nice things as, besides just having the concert. We do. And we'll come to that the next, okay. after this clip. I want you to tell me what else the Lions Club does. Certainly will, Steve. Thanks. Okay. Good. Let's see what we have here. Everybody knows it's yellow, yellow. Come on, baby. We're back, and uh, that's a very nice sound, especially for those of us who appreciate the oldies. Six grandparents <laughs> doing rock and roll. Six grandparents doing <laughs> rock and roll. That could be the next uh, the next name of that band. That could be. Yeah. That could be. <laughs> so, um, Bob, let me come back to you. Um, tell us a little bit about what the Lions is trying to do. 
Uh, with the Lions Club, it's an international organization. Uh, they're, they're in 208 countries around the world. Uh, we have over millions of members. And also, uh, what we're trying to do locally is just give back to the community. Uh, we raise funds from different businesses and other uh, individuals. And we help the biggest cause we're trying to always do is prevent blindness around the, around the world. So we do, uh, the local community organization does contribute to the International Lions Club International. And we, uh, every year we give a couple thousand dollars to um, Lions Club International to prevent blindness. And they're in a lot of um, undeveloped countries in Africa and other parts of the world. And they actually are out there and are preventing what, uh, one of the problems with blindness is uh, one of the diseases called river blindness. Uh, people drinking the local water and things, yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. it's very preventable, and they're getting uh, certain medicines out there to these people and helping children mainly prevent blindness. And also glaucoma and other research. And another area where Lions is involved in is uh, diabetes research, because especially it hits home here in, in the United States because a lot of adults have type 2 diabetes, and also people uh, born with type 1 diabetes or get that mm -hmm. early in life. So we're in, um, trying to always support and uh, find cures for diabetes. All right. So we do a lot of those things. If someone in the audience wanted to become a member, what would they do? How would they do that? Uh, the easiest way to do it right now online, if you want to send an email to Arthur Slate at AOL.com. Arthur Slate. A-A-R-T-H-U-R. -R yep. Slate. S-L-A-T-E. At AOL.com. Right. Good. And, but it, barring that, they could call you, Bob? They can call me directly. My home number is 781-344. 8910. 344-8910. Four, four, right. Good. So they could do that. Um, before I ask for the next um, uh, CD band, to play, yeah. the next band, um, what got you interested? You personally, I mean, there's a lot of um, organizations you could belong to. Right. What's well, your story? My personal story with the Lions is uh, I was on the board of selectmen, and after I got off the board of selectmen, um, Lester Davis, uh, I knew Lester through uh, different events throughout the town, and he asked me if I was interested in joining the Lions. And I heard about them a little bit, but I didn't know what was going on. So I went to a meeting. Uh, Where's your meet? Where are your meetings? Uh, meetings in Chinatown, Cobb's Corner, which is the a Chinatown good, restaurant. Restaurant, Chinatown Cobbs restaurant, Cobb's Corner. Yeah, it's a great place to have dinner down there. All right. Um, they do treat the Lions Club very well. The Wong family down there, excellent people. Um, but Lester brought me to a uh, a meeting and. Um, there's other people I knew throughout the town, through, yeah. uh, and it's just a great bunch of people, all different ages, uh, just there for a night out. Uh, we meet twice a month, the second and fourth Wednesdays of every month, but only through the months of September through June. We have the summers off. Obviously, except, we get, except you do this work. We get involved in other things, <laughs> you know, yeah. concerts, and we also have like a Legends Night in April at the Stoughton High School. Yeah, uh, the, we usually uh, support. Uh, raise funds and we we put on like a, a musical program there. So it's a nice mix of work and play. Yeah, it's it's great. It's a lot of and the best time is it's all social. It's a social club, and uh, we just meet a lot of people. We have a lot of fun and the meetings at night. It may sound like a business, but we keep it very informal. Just yeah. a lot of fun. Very. Because otherwise, you don't want to go to. I don't want to go to a meeting if it's all business. You know. <laughs> right. You already worked all day, right? That's right. You work yeah. all day. The last thing you want to do is go out to a, a business yeah. meeting. Very nice. So we, I enjoy it. All right. So let's queue up. All right. Um, I think we're going to hear from uh, the Villainaires. Is that right? So, um, okay. So we're going to hear the, from the Villainaires. I hope you enjoy this. And I would kiss the ground she walks on. Cause this 
tonight. So now you get to see what NSYNC is going to look like in 50 years. And that's the band. All right. So we're back again. And um, Roy, uh, Outside City Limits is the next one. Have you heard Outside City Limits? I haven't, and I'm looking forward to it because I understand uh, it's a band that con that's consists of uh, St recent Stoughton High graduates. I oh, think wow. Bob knows more about them than, uh, than I do. All right, so that will be yeah. a, a real hometown flavor. Yes, and uh, Steve Pro, one of the Lions Club members, uh, gave me a call the other day. There's a late added, this, a, this band's uh, added late to our lineup this, uh, this summer. And he told me, he reminded me that, hey, we, Hi, Stoughton High School has a great musical program, and there's a lot of good singers and the band, uh, members of the band there. And there's four members of this band, the Outside City Limits, and a, a great musical group. What, he made a suggestion, why not bring them to our Lions Club concerts in the park. And I said, great, if you can get them, let's do it, you know? And right. uh, we're able to get them, and uh, they're gonna be appearing on August 3rd. So right. we're very excited. All right, so let's, um, if I can ask our um, helpers out back, if they can queue up outside city limits, and we'll see if they can be in sync too. I think that's fabulous, huh? That's one of my favorite songs of all time. Um, Bob, how did you um, manage to get this through, uh, let's say, all of the political process in order to have a, uh, in order to have a concert? Uh, first of all, you have to uh, send a letter to the board, Stoughton Board of Selectmen, and uh, for the last 16 years, this is our 16th year, as I mentioned before, they, the board always approves it. They love this type of thing for the community. It really gives back. It gives us a chance to give back to the community. Free concerts, like we mentioned before. And this, this year, the Board of Selectmen, all, as always, very supportive of these things for the town. So we give a shout out to the Board of Selectmen. Thank you very much to the Board of Selectmen for approving these concerts. We appreciate that. Very nice. And also to all of the individuals that you're seeing um, in the shows that you're just catching these small uh, glimpses of, but they're all volunteers, and I think that is terrific. So I'm going to ask the guys up back if you can cue in uh, our August 10th uh, band, which is, uh, I think it's a Bill Belichick band. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Something like that. So we'll have to see what that is. So we're back again. Now all of these concerts are free. 
all of these concerts 5 to 7 p.m. every Sunday going through the summer. It's, it's an exciting lineup. Um, Bob, you have another one in this. Uh, let me uh, actually, instead of Bob, Roy. Yes. Tell me about the Ghost Riders oh, because this saving, is an exciting we're show. We're saving the best for last. This is a group that I was part of back in high school. You know, I'm talking the mid-50s. We're talking the Civil War era, aren't we? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Yeah, this is back in the mid-50s. I formed the group, and there were three of us in the group then, and the same three are still around. We've had three reunions of this band since then, and all three reunions have been in Stoughton. Wow. Um, back when the bookstore was shut down, there was a couple of celebrations. There was a, there was a party in the park uh, behind the West School, and then when the um, bookstore left Stoughton, for those of you who remember that, it's over 30 years ago, we had a uh, performance that we put together, and that was in the Immaculate Conception Church when it was just a basement. And that night, we, uh, even though we hadn't been together for about 25 or 30 years, we put out a show that was like uh, three hours long without repeating a song. And a couple of years ago, uh, Dave, uh, who lives in Georgia, called me up and said, hey, you know, let's get together. Who knows how long, how, who knows how long we're going to be around? And that's, that's a tough question to answer. But we, um, we, we did a little thing here in the Smack Studio a couple of years ago, and we decided that we're going to put on a show, and it should be really interesting. There were three of us. Myself, Dave Katz, who lives in Atlanta, Georgia, Richie Cohen, who plays the drums, he's uh, from Cranston, and we might have Max Whiting, who's part of the, of the political asylum group that back us up with the bass. Wow. And that one I'm looking forward to. All uh, right, well, we're going to ask the guys out back to queue it up, but before they do, uh, Roy's uh, grandchildren, Hannah and Tyler, are in the uh, audience here today, and they've uh, reminded me that it was the Revolutionary War when Roy went to high school. <laughs> so um, let's go on with, um, with, with get this next one up. Just a second, I gotta get my fingers livid up here. All set? <laughs> hey, that's going to be a great show. And, and Roy, uh, you're telling us that you know a number of songs. I mean, these are not, they're, oh, you've got uh, a, a lot real of repertoire. Songs. Yeah, they'll be all songs from the 50s. Wow. It's going to be fun for you, isn't it? I mean, the Absolutely. remembrance of, Absolutely. of 50 years of playing together is special. It makes me feel young. It makes you feel young, Even too. though I'm old. But imagine being able to do something with someone that you did 50 years ago. You know, it's like it's riding great. a bike. You really never forget. That, that's what surprised me the most when we got together the last time, how we still had it. It was oh. great. And it's going to be a good performance, and I hope everybody will show up for it. Yeah, no, and, it, and it's on Sundays. Yes. 5 to 7. Yes. Uh, you don't have to worry about shelling anything out of your pocket. Nope. That's correct. So that part's good. Yep. And uh, I think it's fabulous. So l let me just go review it. Concerts on the Park Sunday nights. So July 13th, Corvairs. July 20th, Political Asylum. July 27th, The Villainaires. August 3rd, Outside City Limits. August 10th, It Is What It Is. And August 17th, our own special Roy Cohen's group, Ghost Riders. And it's all free admission. There's some parking around there anyways. And you'll uh, probably be able to really enjoy yourself out on the, the lawn at Faxon Park and uh, hopefully be able to uh, give some support to the Lions Club as well. 
So uh, do we need to do any um, credits? And I think we do. We want to make sure that we mention that another thing that's happening in Stoughton, another great event, uh, making Stoughton the kind of community that everybody should want to live in, is the Stoughton Farmer's Market. It's being held at the First Paris Universal, Universal, the Universalist Church, 790 Washington Street, Stoughton Center. And Saturdays, every Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's a nonprofit, it's a volunteer run, now through October 25th, rain or shine. So even if it's wet out there, we're all gonna be there, um, hopefully uh, helping you to buy vegetables and um, a lot of homemade stuff. Uh, Lane Gardens Farm is there, O'Brien's Bakery, Fresh Catch Seafood, live music every single week. And if you happen to be using SNAP coupons, uh, we have a special this summer that we will double your SNAP coupons. So if you're gonna buy vegetables and you buy $20, you're gonna come down and get $40 worth of vegetables for $20 with your SNAP coupons. So it's a fabulous way that um, you can really uh, make the most of every dollar um, as you move through. So what else do we have? Hi, it's Gary LaPierre, and the crew wants to thank mm, 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 Maxie's Delicatessen. That's at 117 Sharon Street in Stoughton. They're 781-341-1662. American Cancer Society, yes, they're looking for volunteers, drive cancer patients to and from their treatments. 1-800-ACS-6662 or just go to www.cancer.org. Ilsa Marks Food Pantry in St. Anthony's Free Market, 2 Park Avenue in Stoughton. For more information, call Christine Gallagher. That's at 781-341-0611 or 781-341-0549. Meals on Wheels, just ask for Jessica. You'll find her at 781-344-8882, extension two. Stoughton Penny Saver, our business is advertising your business. They tell us, 27 Rose Glen Street, Stoughton, 781-344-4833. Community Forum Showtimes in Stoughton. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at 6 p.m., Monday at 8 p.m., Tuesday at 5 p.m., it's on Comcast Channel 9 and Verizon Channel 28. All comments and suggestions welcome. Contact us at communityforum1 at yahoo.com. Community Forum Showtime is in Easton. Mondays at 9 p.m., Tuesday at 8 a.m., Wednesdays 3 p.m., Saturday 10 a.m. And that too, Comcast Channel 9, Verizon Channel 22. Summer. All right, and on behalf of the entire crew here at SMAC, and on behalf of the Lions Club, Bob Mullins and Roy Cohen, thank you very much for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you on Sundays.